Welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. You guys already know I can patch drywall, but can I patch stucco? This is a totally different beast. And I have actually done an addition where I did all new stucco. And first off, I wanna give credit where credit's due. You guys should really check out Kirk Giordano's videos. So he does plastering and stucco, and that is where I learned how to do all of this. And now you're gonna watch me fumble my way through this without using any of his advice. But really though, check out his channels if you wanna know what to do. Watch this if you wanna see what maybe works or doesn't. This video is just for entertainment value, guys. So anyways, I've showed up here and it's different than I thought already. So first off, this isn't really like three quarters to an inch thick at all like it usually is. It's thinner, it's like five eighths to even half inch all around here. So I don't think we're gonna be able to do the two coats that you usually do where you do a scratch coat and then you do a finish coat. I don't know if that's even gonna work. I think we're gonna have to do one like thick coat here and then uh, come texture this tomorrow. But anyways, I may as well get to it. Let's see what we got here. So we've got this wire, which I actually didn't want him to get because it's too thin and it's kind of hard to fasten to the wall and have it be furred out enough for the stucco to grab. But in this case, because it's so thin, I think it's actually going to be a benefit now having this. So first off, I got to get the stucco trims on though. I'm just going to get a measurement here for where I want this to go to. That's seven footer will do. So this is a J trim, basically. Really similar to a drywall J trim, except that it holds the stucco in. It's for holding the stucco inside instead of filling on top of. Thankfully, we got 10 feet of overhang here. So water entry isn't really gonna be much of a problem. I'm gonna line it up right here. It's a little bit thinner. but the finished carpenters are gonna make that up when they do a rabbited trim around this door. This needs to be furred out a little bit. Looks like maybe we did need that three quarter trim after all. Pack job. Guys, it's going under trim. It's going under a wooden trim. So apparently the guy at the stucco yard said we can use this stuff. I've always used the regular stucco wire, which I like because it holds it out and then the stucco can get in behind and grab it but this is what I have to work with today. So I'm gonna figure out a way to fur this out a little bit myself. Cause I'm not gonna be happy with that against the wall. I think it's just gonna fall off. Time consuming, but I'm just gonna put these nails in, like sticking out quarter inch, eighth of an inch. And that's gonna kind of hold it out a little bit. Ooh, don't hit that hard. So that the stucco can actually grab something. Yeah, so we got those nails, so they're furring this out a little bit. See if that helps. And then make sure I don't have any high spots before I actually go ahead and... Uh, see, now it's not getting snugged up right tight, so there'll be some room for it to go through. And now it's lots of nails, because I don't have a stapler today. That's gonna work good. You guys don't have to watch all this. So I'm now just checking this to make sure that everything's actually under and that there's enough room for fill. And there's a few spots bowing out, but for the most part, it's looking pretty good. But right here we got some. And just looking at this, I really do think this is gonna be a one day, a one day fill and then texture tomorrow because I don't see how I'm even gonna get two coats on this.
Okay, time to try and get this stuff on the wall. We'll see how this goes. Oh, one last nail. Get the board wet, just like Kirky Day says. And this has been wet down. Okay, this stuff is not like drywall mud. That's what I learned the first time trying to use this stuff. Drywall mud is sticky and it sticks to anything you put it on. And this stuff hits the wall and slides right down if you can even get it onto your trowel from your hawk. That was what I learned the first time I tried to do this job. But it is hard. He makes it look easy and it is very hard. And I'm not even gonna try and use much of this stuff because like you can't just scoop it off your hawk. You have to like let it go onto your hawk like that. And then just like try and mash the stuff in. And like sort of sandwich it on like that. And it just isn't anything like drywall mud. And if you're not careful, it likes to fall off the wall. So yes, Kirk Giordano. That man makes this job look easy, and it is not. See, there it goes. I'm trying to put too much on in one go, and it's falling off. This is honestly the weirdest stuff to do. We may end up having to do two coats after all. Because it's really hard to get a thick coat of this stuff on. But, it's kind of satisfying when it starts working a little bit. Maybe we should try to use the, uh, the pool trowel like Kirky J. I bought one of these to try and use like him. That's not as easy as I thought either. Okay, I gotta try and get these, this bottom filled in. Oh. Come on. There we go. There we go. Try and get this bottom filled in. No, that's not where I was aiming that for. <laughs> okay. There we go. I think I got the mix right. So that's good. much. You guys get the idea. This isn't easy. The first, time, the first time I tried it, I really thought it would be. I have to just go slow and steady. So if any of you guys have tried this, let me know in the comments how that worked out for you. What was your experience? Because my first one wasn't good, as you'll hear. Okay, maybe I can try and tell you guys my first experience. All right, so I was doing an addition and I had a whole wall, probably about 12 feet long by seven feet high, something like that. Makes a mess, eh? Okay, back to the story. Sorry, we had a memory card issue. Back to the story. So I figured I'm pretty good at putting drywall mud on the wall and I mixed up four bags of this stuff and I thought I'll get this stuff on the wall, get this wall moving and what happened was I couldn't even get it to stay on the hawk. So I'd be trying to work with it, I'd be trying to get it on the hawk and it was just a nightmare and I was behind a fence so I had about this much space and it was so brutal that what I ended up doing was I would just load up the hawk and I was literally mashing the hawk. So like this, because I just couldn't figure out how to navigate that tight space and figure this out. And I was literally going like that, which as you can see, it actually worked. <laughs> In spite of how amateur it is, I got the stuff on the wall with about maybe two thirds of it. No, that's two thirds of it on the wall, one third on the ground. And that was my first time ever trying stucco. Anyways, 
So, let me know your stucco horror stories. I hope I mixed up enough. I did two bags. I figured it was going to be enough for this. It's very satisfying. Honestly, I actually really like this. push this stuff like old Kirk can. He makes it look easy. Stay. Stay. If you push your trowel onto the wall and pull it off, you'll pull off like a bigger than your trowel right off the wall. I think I got the mix just right. to do too much. Okay. Okay. This isn't even actually that bad, honestly. But you guys can see why I furred out this stuff. Because if this can't get in behind, then what's going to stop it from falling off? Start moving this stuff around a little. guy. Make sure it's wet. Hey, you're in the way. We are heavy there. Satisfying. Okay, now we can see all of our empty, empty spots.
pot keeps letting go. Give it a few reasons to stay put. I can see the stuff falling down when I do that. This is where it looks like going quarter inch or three eighths would work because I'm having a hard time getting it all to stick right there. But I'm not going to get worked up about it today. Feather your edge. So the one problem I'm having from doing such a thick coat is little bits like this. Now, I'm not gonna fuss too much about that. I'm gonna wait for this stuff to kick off so I can compress it a little bit. And any little bits like that, I'm gonna chisel them out and put quick setting stucco in it tomorrow before I put the texture on. So, don't get your panties in a twist. Can I say that on my channel? Am I allowed? Phew. Okay, good. I gotta admit you guys, that first coat had me feeling like a boss. But, that wasn't the end of it. You guys want to see what happened? Check out the next one. The stucco journey continues in part two, coming soon.